Hey there Music Maker, welcome back for another video here at Mandolin Secrets. In today's video we're going to be checking out the chords to Boston Boy. This is a classic tune that I first heard referenced in a different song. If you folks are familiar with the tune Uncle Penn that Bill Monroe recorded back in the day, there's a verse that he threw out there where he kind of listed a bunch of the tunes that his Uncle Penn used to play and Boston Boy was one of them. Jenny Lynn is another and we're definitely going to get that one in the lineup at some point too. But today it's Boston Boy. So this tune is a tune in C, simple 1-4-5 progression. The B part just uses the 1 and the 5. And we're going to use a bass strum pattern to kind of get our way through this tune today. Before we go ahead and dive into the lesson though, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button below and clicking the bell notification button, that's a great way to keep up with all the new content that we're releasing every week here on Mandolin Secrets. Also, if you're interested in a more enhanced learning experience with PDFs of tab and sheet music for all of these tunes, as well as backing tracks, play along tracks, and other educational tools, check out the link below to the Mandolin Secrets Guitar Club. There you'll find all of the stuff I talked about and more, plus access to our community where you can ask questions to me, Magnus Zetterland, as well as the rest of the Mandolin Secrets Guitar Club community. All right, my friend, let's go ahead and dive into learning the chords for today's lesson. Let's do a quick overview of the chords I'm actually using here. So I'm doing the three finger C chord for our C chord here today and doing a walking back and forth between the alternating bass with my ring finger. If you've been around the channel here, you'll see, uh, see that I do that quite frequently. Totally valid to use the four finger C chord right here though. That way you don't have to move your finger back and forth for that bass strum. Um, now, that being said, for the uh, F chord here, I use this four finger F. I really like the fact that I don't have to move back and forth on my bass drums for that one, right? I just hit the, uh, the D string, strum, A string, strum. No fingers moving whatsoever. So if you're wondering how to make that one, it's just you bar the first fret on the first two strings, the E and the B strings, middle finger on second fret of G, pinky on third fret of D, and ring on third fret of A. And then we've got a G chord. I'm using the four finger G today, but you can use this G or this G, whatever uh, strikes your fancy. Um, but the four finger G, just to review, pinky on the third fret of the high E, ring finger on the third fret of the B, two open strings in the middle there, and then second fret of the A with your index finger, third fret of the low E with your middle finger. Like I said, we're gonna do a simple bass strum on all these chords today. So I'm gonna take you through how to do a bass strum on each of those chords. Let's start with the chords for the A part because it just cycles through C, F, G, and back to C. So let's do that once. So the bass strum here is just gonna be that uh, note on your A string. Strum the top four strings. Third fret of the E, strum the top four strings. And then for your F chord, it's gonna be the D string, strum, A string, strum, and then your G, it's the low E, strum, and then the open D string, and strum, and then back to C. All right, my friend, we've got everything we need to know in order to play the chords to Boston Boy here, so let's go ahead and dive into it, okay? We're gonna get a slow rendition at 100 beats per minute, and then after that, we're gonna bump the tempo up. Here we go, this is Boston Boy at 100 beats per minute. One, two, one, two, ready, go.
Okay, my friend, that's it for the slow version of this tune. Let's get the metronome at 160 beats per minute here and dive into the fast version. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, my friend, that's it for our lesson on the chords to Boston Boy. I hope you enjoyed this one, and drop us a comment below to let us know what other tunes you'd like to see here on the channel. Okay, my friend, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.